All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later for our next deck, which is going to be Rakdos Midrange. This is Jody Keith's deck that he won Grand Prix Memphis this weekend. Whatever the Grand Prix was, I feel like it was Memphis. Um, and so I want to try it out. You know, of course, Jody's a good friend, of course, and uh, super happy f for him for winning. That's awesome. And so I'm excited to try out um, his deck here. So uh, it's basically mono red mid range uh, with just a, a light black splash. The biggest reason to be playing black is having access to duress in the sideboard. Uh, but then you get another uh, couple other you know upgrades having having it as well. So um, let's try it out. I love as you all know I love Direfully Daredevil's card. This is one of my favorite cards. So we get four of those. Sign me up. So here we go, Rakdos Midrange. Hmm, I guess I already have a different deck name macro. Here we go, just delete that E. Good enough. Midrang. Mid Rakdos Midrang. You're right, I, I should make a cat deck dedicated to Hawkeye. That's a good idea. I like it. All right, so we get to keep the five lander with having like the, the Remodi Reveler just gets to discard a land um, for us. But this is a tough choice. Whether to, like, you know, I would love to just be able to Chain Whirler and kill this thing. I think I'm just going to kill it. You know, worst case scenario, like, that saves us from the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is they have a Curious Obsession. Um, perfect. They'd have Curious Obsession plus Dive Down or Spell Pierce. Um, then they, then we can't kill their creature anymore with, that has the Curious Obsession on it. Phoenix is awesome here, being able to block. This has gone pretty well. Ah, it was retorted. Yeah, that was, that was, we had a good bluff there a little bit, a little bit ago. Stop countering my stuff. So I was planning on, um, you know, charter coursing there with the with the daredevil and drawing two. Oh yeah, still on King Toll. I'm gonna be on for the next eight hours still. We are four hours in to our twelve hour stream today. Yep, we are playing Jody's list. Yeah, we're doing 12-hour birthday stream today. Yep. That's what it says. 
Right up here. 12 hour birthday stream. Why is this not returning? Target a card named Elemental? What is going on? Yeah, Mono Black Zombies are pretty good. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can find the Mono Black Zombies list in here in my Stream Decker. Streamdecker.com slash dex. Slash Todd Stevens MTG. Alright, so they get to draw a card, but their Tempest Gen's dead. Their random card is not as good as the Tempest Gen. Need to draw something good. Hmm. That's a disappointing game to lose. After our rekindling, rekindling Phoenix, we didn't resolve another spell. That's disappointing. Yeah, a few too many lands there. All right, so we get all these duresses in, the shock. Uh, Cannonade is not so good in this matchup. Um, status is awesome with Chain Whirler. I don't know if I want that here, though. Karn's going to come on out, um, and I'm thinking treasure map. Yeah. Yeah, I don't love Eldest Reborn, but I think I'm going to keep it. We have, like, a lot of interaction and everything here. I think... I think I'm gonna keep Elder Reborn. It's either that or fight with fire. Um, I guess I could play some war bosses. I can play some war bosses. Let's do that. Let's play. Let's get these war bosses in here. Okay. I I think it's kind of unlikely that we get the combo with status chain whirler, honestly. It is obviously a nice combo, but I think it's kinda of unlikely. I mean we have We got double siege gang in our opener. I don't I don't like that. I guess I get to reveler away one. Update the decklist overlay. I think I think the decklist command should be updated. I thought I already did. Here, I'll I'll try it again though. Hmm. 
drew all of our, um, all three of our five drops. I feel like this is going to be an essence capture. Uh, because that's the worst case scenario for us, so that's why I was thinking that. I don't really want to see dive down because then we can't lava coil again. Okay, I'll take that. It's probably a trickster here then. No land drop. Pass. Pass. Okay. Siege gang? Ah, no siege gang. But Phoenix is is a good uh, a good consolation prize of not resolving siege gang. Siege gang, you know, having it resolve um, and being able to activate it so much would be really nice. Um be able to throw the goblins around and everything. Mr. Nobody, you're the one that's really smug and unbearable with that. That's just be polite. You don't need to be don't need to be mean, name calling, anything like that, Mr. Nobody. Just be polite. That's all I ask. Just be polite. So Carnage, uh, while Carnage like uses our mana the best here. Um, Carnage would never resolve because our opponent can uh, can just use the Storm Tamer to counter Carnage. Yeah, zombies went four two. Apparently did did very well with it. Very very happy. With how we did there with zombies. Um, we're just keeping the pressure on our opponent, putting them down to four with the chain whirler. We've never got to the siege game, but we've drawn well. We, we've drawn uh, good cards at at good times. Um, so we're doing we're doing good here. We'll see what the opponent has to see if we can finish this off. I think we can attack with both, because yeah, like our, our opponent needs to block Phoenix, because otherwise Chain Whirler will kill kill them. And I didn't have to worry about like a dive down or something um, there. <laughs> Rekindling Phoenix is so good.
Hmm. Should we, should we trim one Siege Gang for a fight with fire? It's just kind of unlikely with a Siege Gang resolves, especially being on the draw, right? So just take out another five mana card. That seems reasonable. Yeah, the next expansion is still going to be about the Ravnica guilds, but it's going to be the last one for like you know a long time and everything. That's it's going to finish out the um, the Ravnica storyline um, and everything. I don't know if I like this hand. I mean, I love love's a strong word, but I like Chain Whirler. But Chain Whirler on turn three on the draw. I think this is a mulligan, even though it doesn't look like a mulligan. I think we have to have interaction early. There we go. I think that's like a, a tough hand to mulligan, but it's actually that's actually a mulligan. Hey, what's up, Yud? Thanks for the birthday wishes. Going really good. Please, no Tempest Gin. No Tempest Gin. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ozzy Rim. Thanks. I do think we're going to have some members of the Gatewatch die in the next expansion because I think that that's like a, a a popular thing that people are kind of clamoring for is for members of the Gatewatch to die. Even though I'm not sure I, I necessarily want that to happen, honestly, myself. I, I like the members of the Gatewatch, but that's what it seems like. That that's what... Um, We need. I was actually kind of expecting Reveler to get countered, to be honest. I was actually kind of expecting that to get countered. Yeah, Gideon is the po the popular one that people are saying is dying. One card left. This would be spell number two. They'd still be a ways away from... That didn't go very well. That didn't go very well. <sighs> that went really bad.
Yeah, that went that went horrible. Yeah, Elspeth is dead right now. So I went with the I went with the carnival first because I wanted I wanted the chain whirler to resolve and you know they just turned out to have the answers for both of them there with the three mana uh, with their two cards in hand um, it was certainly safer to just have the double carnival um, for their one one. So I guess I should have just should have just not played the chain whirler and just had double carnival there. Man, that's rough. Yeah, 0 and 1. I think our I honestly think our mono blue matchup's pretty good with just like looking at the cards we have in this deck. But you know, it just didn't didn't work out for those games. Um I think this deck will beat mono blue uh a lot more times than it won't, but we didn't win that match. Let's get treasure map going. Hey, Leonidaskin, thank you so much for the bits. Yeah, game one we drew all lands, and that that hurt, you know. That was our problem, game one. Hey, Twisted Dew, also getting some bits in here. The happy birthday. Thanks, Twisted Dew. Um. All right, killing that elf. I don't want to see no Vivian next turn. What's your final conclusion on the modern blue-black processors? Um, it's it's pretty underpowered compared to modern decks, compared to other modern decks. Um, it's less consistent, has a higher curve, less powerful, all that kind of stuff. Um, and that was the case, you know, like January of 2018, whenever I played it. And I'm sure modern's just kind of better now. And so I wouldn't really recommend. I wouldn't recommend building it if you're trying to like win tournaments. If you want just, you know, something different to play. You know, feel free. There. Please don't have Vivian. The wild wasn't Vivian. meant to be contained.
Okay, I need to make a thumbnail for zombies. A YouTube thumbnail. The wilds are well, I'm my pretty shield. glad that they ticked up and not my nest. We get to flip the treasure map. Phoenix in play. Phoenix is a good card. We got a backup Phoenix, even if they have like a contempt for this one. Zombies. Mono black zombies. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Okay, let's get the thumbnail updated here. We got it now. All right, so I'm playing another Phoenix, I'm and then do I do I want to do anything I else? I can I can use a treasure to cast a, a remodi as well if I wanted to, but no. So I decided I'm just going to not do that. Uh, crack a treasure to try to hit a land drop, which we did. And um, are able to hit and play another land now. Okay, that's done. Back to the chat. Yeah, this is Jody Keith's list because Jody Keith's awesome. I do a little bit of ranked, but not very much. Um, I like how this format is for all the different decks we play and everything. You can't stop nature. Hey, Joker. Have you tried Captain Lannery in this deck? Uh, well, I haven't, because you know we're just playing Jody's deck, so I, I haven't tried that. Um, but I could see it doing. I could see it doing some work. I've been really happy with Captain Lannery Storm in the. Um, been really happy with it in the uh, um, Naya Legends deck that I've been playing recently. So I could I could see it doing some stuff there. <laughs> yeah, it's my birthday today. All right, Vivian down. Every defeat is a new beginning.
Perfect. Perfect card I wanted to draw right there. Yeah, I I didn't really like Siege Gang and Prey. Um, <laughs> so I was doing Remodi and Prey. <laughs> I was, if I didn't hit there, I was going to Carnage. That was my plan, was just to cast Carnage, I guess. Aqua Teen Hunger Force, thank you so much for the birthday cheers and getting that little cupcake in there. Thank you. Okay, hostage shaker, come on. Opponent's just not not casting any spells for me to daredevil. Uh, Rickard, thank you so much, and Theor, the happy birthdays as well. Thank y'all. And then of course, where's my where's my cheer emotes? Here's some cheer emotes for Aqua Teen Hunger Force with the the birthday cheer. Thank you kindly. Siege King is, is really good in the deck. I, I really like Siege King Commander. Um, I am so glad my opponent didn't block with their 5-5. Five five. Got a bluff attack in. So I just need to lower my opponent's life total. So I'm, I'm really glad we got that 4 points in. And they didn't block with their 5-5. Five because five I, I didn't want to do anything to try to kill the 5-5. Five five, but I put the Siege Gang out here to like show, like, hey, I, I can kill your 5-5 five five with the Siege Gang. And so, like, okay, I won't attack. Or, I mean, I won't block. Oh yeah, if we get the the plague plague win online, it's really good. It's not insta concede, but it's it's certainly going to be really nice. <laughs> Crisis is a little strong. Um, I I underrated that card for sure. The um, in my set preview. I thought it was going to cost too much mana and people weren't going to be playing it too much, but it's standard. The games go longer. I think it would have been just fine as an enter the battlefield effect and not as a cast trigger. Yeah, same. Same. I, I overrated both those cards also. Theater of Horrors and Judith. Which I think Theater of Horrors is, would, would have been really good, but I think the main thing that held it down, that's holding it down, is Mortify, honestly. I think that's the big thing holding down Theater in particular. Um. But just kind of Rakdos in general. All right, I can't stop that from happening. I could, I could throw, I could throw a goblin at that, but they still had another five mana just to, to adapt in response.
That's a that's a fair point. I fight with whales with how the cast trigger is. Is good to have. So I know it's it's damage efficient to, to cast the carnival, um, but I kind of want to just hold on to it now and maybe cast Carnage. Okay, Carnage does not deal damage to Planeswalkers. Okay, I was wondering if it did that. They still have eight mana um, with the Incubation Druid. They have lots and lots of mana. And I still have nothing to Daredevil right now. Yeah, Pr Judith is awesome with Priests of Forgotten Gods. We were doing some crazy stuff with that yesterday. With those two. Uh, no, if I let the Siege Gang get taken, then my opponent has priority because they're the active player. So once the Siege Gang gets taken, then they can just cast the Siege Gang commander immediately and I can't do anything about it. So you, you cannot let the Siege Gang get taken when like they have the mana to cast the Siege Gang. So I have to I have to kill the hostage shaker in response to the trigger. So close to killing them. I have four damage here. Maybe I should have just attacked with all the phoenixes. I probably should have just attacked with all the phoenixes. I have four damage with the siege kings, but no, I mean they certainly block one of the phoenixes. No, I'm glad not attacking with all the phoenixes. <laughs> yeah, stupid lands. Yeah, we've drawn a lot of lands in a row. Which, to be fair, we need the lands in a row for for a little bit there. Our opponent's just doing nothing with the Krasises. Not attacking, not blocking. Doing nothing. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. Sometimes restoration means retribution. <laughs> All I have to do is stay alive here. Hey, Jack Jr. Happy birthday, Todd. Here's uh, my deck from a little while ago. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you, Jack Jr. Okay, let me figure out this combat here. We are... I mean, I guess I can have. So if we block these, we're taking 12. In fact, I can, I'll just shoot this branch walker too. Taking ten. Ah, not again. All right. Ah, uh, thanks, Gabs. Thanks, Mr. Gabs. All right, there's the deck. Yep. Um. Jund. All right. Perfect. All right, what what day and time do you want me to play some some Jund? Oh no, reconnect. We need a sideboard. Hurry up. Thanks, MTG gentlemen. All 
All right, what am I sideboarding in this matchup? Birthday stream going good. The the big thing is I don't know exactly what I want to do with this matchup. I'm I'm definitely gonna get status in. Um, I don't know what else to do besides status, honestly. I don't really like the Karn too much. I think Angrath's better than Karn. I don't think I need Shiv and Fire to go along with the Shocks and Carnivals. Um, and Fire with Fire? Okay, yeah, I can see Fire with Fire being good. Yep. What am I what am I taking out? I don't know if Karn's really that good. Am I just taking out Elvis Reborn? I, I don't I don't know what's up with the co connection issues. I'll take out one Elder Shaborn, one Daredevil. Shocks don't hit enough targets. They kill Llanowar Elf, um, Llanowar Elf, Merfolk, Branchwalker, Jade Light Ranger, and Vivian. If Vivian down ticks to kill something, then we can kill Vivian with a shock. It kind of kills a lot of things. I think it kills enough things. Oh, uh, yeah, incubation. Dead incubation drew too. Kills that too. To be honest, I kind of forgot I had Chain Whirler. I probably should have just let that land where I'll stay alive for a turn because of Chain Whirler. I think a big part of that game was my opponent not killing my treasure map last time with, uh, with their Vivian. Don't get to find finality of that crisis back at all. And it, even if they have uh, Vivian here, um, then we have like the treasure map. Or sorry, then we have the Eldest Reborn. Sorry, that kills the Vivian. Well, I guess I missed the missed the time to upkeep Scry, but drawing a shock's not the worst. That is true. They can take the the treasure map with hostage taker. That would have been bad. Yeah, and, and Jade Light, you can kill Jade Light with the trigger on the stack also with shock. Um, so you don't have to worry worry about it getting bigger. I certainly see my opponent having finality. I can see a finality here, but it's just a two for one. Um, it's really a two for two if you consider this chain whirler killing the land war elf.
Oh, yeah, sorry, I missed. J Jack, when when did you want me to play? J Jack, when did you want me to play Junt? Yep, there's finality. So many lands. I think I spread a couple lands at the bottom, I think, right? Yeah, we got two lands on the bottom also. You want to play? Okay, you want me to play it today? All right, today right away. Um, deck, stop. We have we have another donation deck up next, so I don't, I don't want to push I don't want to push back uh, the other donation deck. And also, Rakdos and Jund are just real similar, so it's not best to go Rakdos and Jund back to back. So I can do Jund mid range here. And that should be that should finish out the rest of the stream today. our opponents just sin with over there. They're not drawing well. Not drawing too well at all. We only have 25 lands? I was thinking we had 26 with all these lands. So this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we've seen over half of the lands. We've seen 13 lands in that many cards. Not so good. Wild animals I like. Meet my newest friend. I need to draw some kind of removal spell for this land war elf, so then I can Eldest Reborn away the Vivian. <laughs> or our, our 14th land. Alright, whatever. They just get to downtick Vivian to kill this thing. Oh, so they've been sitting with counter magic in their hand. So they've been waiting to play. How many lands in a row? I don't know. Come to me. It's been a million. Millions of lands in a row. Yeah, they had all three find finalities. No one knows the wilds like I do. Hmm. So 15 of the 25 lands? 15 lands of 23 cards that we've looked at. Looked at 23 cards and 15 of them lands.
That's rough. Okay. Let's see. Like, I, I could see wanting to play the Karn and the Theater and the Duresses um, and the other Eldest Reborn, Daredevil. You know, I, I, I can... I can see, like, when those cards would be kind of good. Um... Maybe I don't play Shock. Maybe I just go bigger. Or at least have like Duress. They have all those spells. Like, their deck's filled with spells post board. Yeah, Rebody's not great, but we need it. I need some stuff kind of early against like their creatures. I think I like keeping it. Okay, yeah, absolutely, Gatsby. Okay, yeah, I can change you. So then, yeah, I guess we'll so we'll go with John next, and then Naya. No problem. <laughs> Thanks, J Jack. Yeah, I, I'm. I think this is better for my eyes to be wearing glasses than instead of wearing uh, contacts. I'll probably wear some contacts at some points too. Probably won't wear glasses 100% of the time, but probably wear glasses more often than not now. I don't think I need to cast Duress yet. Um, mostly want to be able to hit Vivian, find Finality, um, or Counter Magic later. It's just not something that I need to do right now. There's not really like any spells like right now that I'm worried about them casting. So yeah, let's just get the treasure maps going. All right, now that Jade Light is scary. Cause, Cause, you know, it's bigger. It's four three. That's a, a lot faster clock than a two one. So I think I need to lava coil this turn. So you know, again, looking for land. It's not land. Um, so this is the risky scry here. Because if we don't draw a land, then we're taking six. we don't draw a land, though, we're not going to be doing too good anyway. We did not draw the land. Two more Jade Lights? Are you kidding me? Chain Whirler is a good find, though, because Chain Whirler gets to block Jade Light just, you know, 
They can't attack through Chain Whirler. Dang it. I was hoping they were going to graveyard that. I was really hoping they were going to graveyard that. We have to use two treasures to exile that to just kind of stay alive a little bit here. So they can tempt my Chain Whirler, hit me for four down to six, and then I play Phoenix next turn. Um, yeah, nice job, deck. A million, yeah. We had a million lands last game, and then we couldn't find a, couldn't get, hit a land drop this game. We're, we're doing okay-ish now. Oh, I forgot about the Hydroid Crisis in their graveyard that they explored over for fine, with Fine Finality. I don't like them getting a lot of lands. I just get a cast find as well, get back Krasis. Gross. Coil's fine. We may be Daredevil casting Daredevil finality. That costs eight mana. No, I'll probably be saving Daredevil for the Contempt. <clears throat> Need to exile these Krasises and stuff. I mean, I think they're going to probably Contempt my Phoenix this turn. But we'll, we'll see if they... We'll see what they do. But I'm, I'm expecting Contempt on Phoenix. Hydro Crisis is nuts. Okay. I'll pick that up. Kings and castles by the No, I don't have any spect the any drill bits in here. Ooh, we got a crisis out of their hand. That's pretty good.
So, if they have another removal spell here for Chain Whirler, I guess that's bad. Um, I'd prefer they just play Hydro Crisis for four. Like, that's, that's, I want them to just play Hydro Crisis for four and pass turn. That's all, I, that's what I want. And then I just go Daredevil. Oh yeah, I was like, why is my neck so itchy? It's this, this string here for the, for my hat. Perfect. They still have three cards in hand. Play land, please. So hopefully they have multiple lands. There we go. Alright, so now I'm just going to Daredevil... Daredevil Finality. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe I don't Daredevil Finality. Maybe I can just... Actually, with them attacking like that, I guess I could just... Daredevil Contempt and Contempt Krasis. I want to hit a land drop. Actually, that works. All right, so they got three cards left. We fought through the two crises and the contempt, the fine finality. What are there? Three cards left. Thanks, Raul. Yeah, this is Jody Keys, the Rakdos deck from GP Memphis. Yep. Finality would not end me. I would finality wouldn't do anything to me right now, like that. I would I'd be fine with that, because they finality it it's a two for two trade. It trades their card and the branch walker for two chain whirlers, so we trade two for two, um, and then I get to use daredevil and find and just draw get my two chain whirlers back. So that would have been, yeah, like I would have been I would have been happy with that. Had another crisis. I should attack with both chain whirlers. I should attack with both. Yeah, another another hydroid crisis was definitely bad for me. Yeah, they're looking at their graveyard. It looks like they have another fine finality. I should have sent in with with both chain whirlers there. Yeah, Daredevil awesome. The the big problem is dealing with it. You know, so we we had one crisis covered with that contempt, but now another crisis. I don't I don't have anything to cover another crisis and they get one back here. Fourth crisis. I should attack with two Chain Whirlers last turn. It could be at 16 right now.
So we did represent shock. I could certainly think I could. I would assume my opponent thinks I have a shock uh, for like attacking with the chain rulers. There, we did kind of represent having a shock. So they probably think that um, if they kill my daredevil and attack for lethal, I'm just going to shock the, the branch walker. Uh, it's not because Snapcaster is blue that makes it better than Daredevil. It's because it has Flash, um, and it's your graveyard, so you get to build around it. Uh, Daredevil being your opponent's graveyard, you can't rely on necessarily rely on your opponents having spells. But with you, you can make your deck to make Snapcaster really good because you have that decision. You get to build around it. So really this game two, the game two when we, you know, drew 15 lands, or at least saw 15 lands, I scribed a couple to the bottom. It's the, the big reason why we're going to lose this match. This is just a, a close game where they just have a bunch of crises, you know, like, whatever. Like these kind of games happen sometimes. But they don't usually happen two out of three games, and that game two we got real unfortunate. Why is it always four craces in the top four guards? It surely seems like. I mean, I certainly think they have counter magic. Um... Oh well. Oh, two. Man, we just got really unlucky. We got like don't usually complain about luck too much, but we got really unlucky. It wasn't wasn't necessarily that game. It was the the game two, um, and then also our our game uh, our game three against Mono Blue there. Or the game one against Mono Blue. Sorry, we had two ga we had two games in both. It was game one against Mono Blue, and then game two there, where we just drew nothing but lands. Um. So, thanks, Great Curry. Thank you so much. We got the vault. Vault rewards. So couldn't you have kept Carnage and used Find to get your coil? Find only gets creatures. We you can't get spells back with Find, so that that wouldn't have worked. Our best chance was maybe keeping the duress and duressing some spell that killed Krasis from them, and then use Daredevil to cast it. I didn't think that was very. I don't know. I didn't feel like that was the best we could do, and so, you know, we had. Yeah, more looks, three more looks after that. And yeah, it's, it certainly seemed like um, they would have had more. 
there. So we didn't really do the deck, the deck very uh, justice. Um, I do think the deck's pretty strong, especially like the mono blue matchup. I think is is very favorable. Um, but you know, we just really flooded out one game, and then we had another game after we mulligan that just didn't work out for us. And then, uh, yeah, they're against Sultai. Sultai. I know the Sultai matchup's good because I know Jody just was. Sol I know Jody was just beating Sultai over and over and over and over again all weekend. Um, but I don't know exactly how he was sideboarding. He probably has like his sideboard d plan down real well because he plays the deck a whole lot more. Um, and I think like that we most likely should have won that second game, but we just saw 15 lands out of 25 in our top like 22 cards or something like that. It's just, you know, that kind of stuff just happens. Um, and then they just had too many crises, game three. So, there we go. Um, could a case be made to rerun the deck? Yeah, we could certainly rerun the deck. That's what I've been kind of thinking about, Haishin, of, of rerunning it because we didn't do so well. But um, we have a lot of decks still on the docket. Um, four more decks here on the docket right now um so i think i'm going to just go ahead and move on um but yeah this deck's good and if you want a deck that's good against blue and sultai even though we lost to blue and sultai uh i think that this deck is good against both of those um and everything so we'll have to come back to this one um, but yeah, I think with us having like these other decks, I'm going to go ahead and, and, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to rerun another day. Like maybe tomorrow, like probably tomorrow or the next day, I'll probably play this again. So, all right. So if you're watching this later on, on YouTube, um, one, thanks for watching, but uh, that's it for Rakdos Midrange, so I'll see you for the next video.